everyone, it's Nadia from Lea Dia Designs and I'm back with part two or second attempt <laughs> of the book purse. So uh, as you can see, I have a new color because I'm doing a new book today. If you missed my last video, you might want to go back and check that one out. I did Pride and Prejudice, um, which is this one here. Um, it's disassembled because I'm redoing this because the last video, as much as I really like how the concept and everything was working, it ended up kind of being a fail. So I'm going to be redoing this one as well today. But I want I'm going to be showing you kind of this new book as well. So if you want to, I'm going to be kind of speeding through a lot of the same steps that I did last time, to the point that we can get back to where things kind of started to fail and how I'm going to fix it in this video. So if you want to see the whole process of what happened last time, please go back and check out that previous video so that you can, It's a, um, I went through it in a lot of detail and it was a much slower pace. Today we're going to kind of time lapse through a lot of the stuff that we've already done so that you're not bored, you know, trying to rewatch this process when I've already done it once. So anyway, so the new book that we're doing today is a Julia Quinn book from Bridgerton, <laughs> another obsession of mine. And so it's a series on Netflix, if you don't already know. And the second season was called The Viscount Who Loved Me, which is the second book. So um, this actual design is not the original design of these books. It was redone by another company and they did the whole series and the books are all gorgeous. The whole set's really pretty. So I'll tag them in the description below so that if you're interested in seeing those books, you can check them out. But I really like the design of this as well. I thought it was going to look really pretty on a purse. So I have the front cover and I have the back cover, which again, so pretty. So I'm going to be using these and I do have the spine and the sides and everything as well, just like last time. So I do have those. You'll see them as we go ahead and assemble them. And again, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but <laughs> if you feel like I'm going too, too fast through this video and you're missing things or you want to see certain steps, please go back and check out the Pride and Prejudice um, book purse video because I went through it in a lot more detail there. All right. So, um, so the first thing you'll notice is that I uh, unmolded uh, this. I have to trim the edges off a bit because they're a little bit overflowed there. So I'll be doing that. But I did pour kind of like this gold color for this purse because I thought it'd really be pretty to have the outside of the purse be kind of this, you know, ivory color. And then the inside is kind of like, you know, especially because we're working with bees, it's kind of like a honey yellow. And I got paper there. So I kind of got this honey yellow. So the outside will be fully covered. And when you open it up, you'll have this really pretty gold yellow on the inside. So that's what I was thinking to do here. Oh, and I've already stuck it down. <laughs> Let's take that back off because that's not right. Okay, so and just like last time, what we're doing is I've already trimmed everything out to the sizes that I'm going to need them. And I've already sprayed the back with at some sort of um, the clear adhesive, sorry. And so it's a spray adhesive that I use just to help me kind of position things down. And then, and I'm gonna be doing that for all, I did that for all the pieces. So we'll be assembling this here shortly. And then once we finish that, um, we're gonna basically be caught up to the point where things started to go wrong <laughs> in my last video. And that's where I kind of wanna spend more time in this video to kind of show you how I fixed it or how I plan to fix it because it's still a plan. And I want to thank everybody for their suggestions in the comments of the last video. I read them all and there was a lot of good suggestions, a lot of things I hadn't really, um, maybe I had thought about it, but maybe, you know, there was a new kind of approach that was suggested to me. So I am going to, I did consider everything. What I'm doing today is going to be similar to what I did in the last video with a couple tweaks. Um, part of them are suggestions that I had from other people um, in the comments. So thank you guys for that. So first time lapse for today is we're going to, I'm just going to go ahead and start assembling this, uh, these pages onto the book or onto the resin uh, purse, just like last time to kind of make it look like a book. So again, feel free to kind of follow along there. It all kind of is straightforward and makes sense. But if, it, if it's going too fast for you, please check out the previous video. All right, let's go. So one of the major changes that I made um, on this version than I did differently than last time is last time I had the edges for of the you know these paper printed edges going all the way 
to the edge of the resin. So this time what I did is I actually marked, I don't know if you saw it in the time lapse, but I actually marked how far, like how much of it actually is going into uh, the, the frame here. So I actually made a line and then I knew that my, as long as my paper kind of passed that line, then I was safe in terms of how it's going to look when it's installed into the frame. On this one here, because this is actually where the, the you know, the, the edge is going to be when it's installed, I couldn't, I couldn't really make the paper short because the edge is going to be exactly there. Let's see if I can show you guys. Like it's literally like exactly there. <laughs> There's no gap there for, for be able to have the paper be short. So I just taped it and I wrapped that around. So hopefully that's going to help um, that there. But look at it. Look how cute it's looking already. Like this is, these are the pages. The book pages are actually this color, which is really cute. So we have our top, our bottom, and our sides. So there we go. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray lacquer them or spray seal them. Um, this was a, a suggestion from a number of people. And I did know that this existed, that we could spray lacquer or spray varnish the the, the covers, but I've had kind of hit and miss success with that in resin in the past. But I think in conjunction with everything else that we're doing, it probably will help, especially where I feel the weakest, sorry, the weakest part is, is the corners. So I'm, I'm spraying kind of a, uh, the clear varnish over the whole thing in a light coat, but I'm concentrating it more on the corners. So just to kind of give it a little bit of extra, let that dry. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, use our uh, book contact paper or contact film. So I'm going to be using that to wrap the book again as last time. The difference this time will be that again, I'm going to cut it short so that it doesn't actually go all the way to the edge because another issue we had last time was that the when the res when the contact paper went all the way to the edge the resin didn't want to stick to it like it was it's fine to kind of top coat but it was starting to peel up on the edges so we're going to stop a bit short with the contact paper so the resin has a little bit of an edge of its own to grab all right so i'm going to get these sprayed we'll jump into another time lapse and we'll be back So we have our covers all top coated now, so you can see nice and shiny. And I'm glad to say everything worked really well, pretty much perfect actually. So it was a really good idea. I think we kind of solved the issues here. And as I mentioned quickly in the previous little time lapse there, that um, I for my intention was to spray the actual like printed copy before I added the film on top like the book cover film and then I was going to top coat it with the resin. I ended up forgetting to do that just late night hours things and so I put the book film and then I sprayed it with the clear varnish so and I think that actually worked better um, than maybe it would have the opposite way. Um, like it looks really good along the corners and really the only vulnerable part besides the bottom is the is the corners and this one we had the tiniest I don't know if you can even see it, it's the tiniest little bit of a leak there but really nowhere else on this one basically same corner there's like the tiniest little thing but not enough for me to consider it a fail so um the blue one the pride and prejudice book um this is the one I actually varnished twice. So I varnished the paper first, then put the book film, then put the resin. No, oh, no, wait, the book film. And then, <laughs> then another clear coat of uh, varnish, mostly again on the corners and then the resin. And I feel like that was even better 
because like there was like zero issues on this one for the corners. And again, because we didn't go to the edges on the, the paper here, we didn't really have any issues of resin creeping up under there. So I think we got it. So I think it turned out really cute. Um, so I'm going to glue that in and you can see on the inside, it's that golden color, which I think works really well with the whole aesthetic. So I'm going to just be using uh, Gorilla Glue. Uh, <laughs> this one here is what I'm going to be using. I have a new bottle. This is an old bottle, but this is the super glue uh, gel. I like the gel just because I feel like it's just uh, a little bit thicker so it holds a little bit better uh, so i'm going to be using this and then what we're going to be doing once i've glued that in and my fingerprints are all over this is for the inside um in the last purse i did like the round one the round purse i did a while back uh, i did a fabric inside um kind of like a layer inside so if you want to see how to do that you can go back to that video to see how that was done this time I'm going to do something which I think is a bit more common for these resin purses because I know a lot of times people have been telling me oh the resin purses are supposed to be clear they should be clear resin so you can see what's inside I don't necessarily agree with that I think that's a preference I actually really like being able to create our own art um, doesn't need to be clear. I don't like having the things in my purse show, <laughs> but that's just me. It could be a new young trend, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not into it. So, um, so what I'm going to be doing instead though, is I do still want, I've seen a lot of people have these purses without anything, um, kind of covering the sides to kind of make it into a bit more of a functional purse. Um, they just actually leave it like this. So that is an option if you just want to have it as some sort of a case for something specific that doesn't need, you know, to be have the sides covered, then you don't need to do that. I'm going to do it just to show you guys. And this is my preference. So I have what's um, it's basically like a vinyl. It's a vinyl fabric. My daughter has gotten into sewing. Um, you know, it's a pretty big hobby this summer, actually. And so she's got all these vinyl and fabrics. And so I just stole a little bit of hers. It comes on a roll and it has a backing, a white backing on it. And then you have to peel it off. So I cut this in kind of this odd shape, kind of something kind of triangular. You can see it better with the white. Somewhat triangular. Probably could do a full triangle. But when I was kind of messing with it, this was the shape I ended up uh, cutting. And the way that it's going to work is that I'm going to glue it on the inside, Oop, it's not gonna work well with everything not actually already intact, but I'm gonna basically just glue it on the insides here, something like that. So it's gonna sit on the two, we're gonna glue it to the panels here and here on the inside. And then that's going to just allow the purse to open about that much, which I think is sufficient for a little clutch so that's what I'm going to do on both sides again with the Gorilla Glue so we're going to go to a time lapse because this will take a little bit of time for it to dry and things like that and then we'll come back when everything is all done so we're all done we got this one all finished up here now and it's looking pretty amazing I'm so happy I got to get all the fingerprints off of it but I'm so happy it only took us two videos but we finally got it perfect so 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 happy so here we go so got them the panels all glued in and now when you open it, it has our can you guys see the vinyl in there so here here I probably could have gone a little bit bigger with the vinyl so it could open a little bit more but I mean my hand fits in so it's it works so here we go and we got our chain added I'm just so happy with how this turned out because you know it just gives you a way another way of kind of expressing your own style and things that you like and I just think like for people who especially who love books or love certain movies to have something like this it just seems like it's such a treasure so anyway I hope you guys 
uh, enjoyed this video <laughs> and the journey that this whole saga took between the two videos. We finally got our Pride and Prejudice book done and now we have our Viscount Who Loved Me book done and I think they turned out really really sweet. So like I said I love the yellow, the golden color on the inside of this as well. So anyways guys let me know what you thought of the of the you know final results of these if you have any other suggestions or ideas that you want to suggest over in the comments feel free to do that i will be covering these more in detail um, for anybody interested on even more detail on kind of you know the entire process including how they are printed and things like that um, i'm covering that in my member live stream for my patreon and youtube members so if you're interested in anything like that uh, you can check out the links in my description, so in the description below this video. There's also links, I believe, on my homepage of my YouTube channel. So feel free if you want to join us there. We will get into lots of detail of, you know, all the ins and outs and things that went right, things that went wrong, things I might even tweak if for another time if I was going to make another one of these. So lots of fun discussion there. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.